Hey guys, Saturn Looms here, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing another tutorial, which is for this super cute Triceratops, which is designed by Zimmy underscore Looms on Instagram. This design is so awesome. I love it. And it's actually not that band heavy, if you think about it. I think it's about 650, I'm not sure, um, but at least a pack of bands, maybe a little bit more, but I think it's worth it, <laughs> it's so cute, and he sits, and I put mine's arms like this so that it like sits better, also I apologize if you hear cars, um, cats, I have three, so they'll probably be meowing and making noises, um, and if there's just any background noises, I'm sorry about that, but now let's get started with the materials we'll be needing. So to make this guy, you are going to be needing any type of hook, I'm using my rainbow, lo r rainbow loom hook today, um, you can use a crochet hook, that would work too. You're also going to need a stitch marker to mark your rows. I just have a C clip. You can use an S clip, a G clip, an actual stitch marker, or whatever you want. And I have my 9mm safety eyes. If you don't have safety eyes, you can use uh, a black band wrapped around your hook four time, five, three times to make four loops, then pull it onto a body color band, and then just slip knot it onto the head, or you can use a bead. Um, but I just prefer how safe the eyes look, and you're also going to need backings, and I have two. Um, you're also going to need a little hook like this. You, it doesn't have to be like a hook like this, like it can be like a pencil or a toothpick, just something that has like an end that you can like poke your stuffing back in, like if you're like, oh, sorry, I am so messed up this morning. Um... If there's like stuffing poking out of the stitches, you can just poke it back in with something. So I have a little little hook there. And the colors you're going to be needing today is something for your body color of your Triceratops. And today I am using Electric Blue Glow. It's jelly. I tried doing this with opaque bands. Um... It looks, it still looks fine, but it, I feel like the jelly bands just look better and it gives it more dimension um, when you use the jelly bands, just because I feel like they're more, I don't know what the word is for that, but I do recommend using jelly bands for this, but if you don't have jelly bands, that's fine, anything I'm sure would look fine. Um, and then you're also going to need white for the horns or you can use any color you like that's totally up to you but today I'm going to be using white and you're also going to need stuffing or anything that you can stuff your creation with today I'm using polyfill because I always use polyfill but you can use rubber bands tissues paper towels like anything honestly but so that's all you're going to be needing to make this guy so let's get started Alrighty, so to start off making this triceratops, we are going to be making his arms. So I've already made one arm off camera, and I will make one arm with you, and then you can make your other one off the tutorial as well. So let's make the arm. Duh. <laughs> I only have to make one because I already made one last night. So let me get my bands. Okay, so we're going to start off with a magic ring of seven stitches. If you don't know what a magic ring is, then I'll show you. So what you have to do is take a band and wrap it on your hook two times, creating three loops. So it should look like this. And then you're going to pull one band through all of these loops on your hook like this and reclaim. And so you have your three loops here, and then these two here. And you're just going to slide 
one over the other. And don't tie this tight. You want it nice and loose. And then you're going to want to go back into these three loops. Where's my third loop? Oh, there it is. Into your three loops. And keep this one held back with like your finger or something. Just so it's not with the other loops. And you're going to pull another band through the only the three loops. So keep this one held back. You don't want to pull that one on yet. So now you have this and you're going to slide this loop and this loop over the front loop. So boom and boom. So now we have two stitches in our magic ring and we want seven. So let's do that exact same thing five more times. Also, I'm sorry if I sound like a little crusty in this video. I woke up like half an hour ago. I wanted to film early, but I overslept. So it is now almost eight o'clock, but I'm still tired. So I still, I still sound crusty, but <clears throat> it's okay. So just keep on repeating it, going in to the magic ring or the three loops. We are making the magic ring. And I'm going to count to see how many stitches I have. And the stitches are these things. They kind of look like teardrops. But this little thing here that's facing the other way is not a stitch. So just remember that. That's not a stitch. It's just part of the first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six and I need one more. So I'm going to go back in and make my seventh. So now I have seven stitches in my magic ring. So just, let me just count again. So always starting with the one on your hook. So one, two, three, ah. one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I have seven. Where's my C-clip? Here it is. And so you're gonna put the C-clip on the band that's on your hook. And now we are going to do six rows normal or single crochet around this. So let me plot out my six rows. Zoom out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Move these bands. So every time I start a row, I'm going to pick up one of these bands and then that will be the start of my, my first row. So we're going to go in, instead of going in to the, um, the cat band, we're going to go into this first stitch here, not this thing. It's facing the other way. You can tell that it's not a stitch. So we'll go into this one right here. And I'm going to take one band from my row of stuff and pull it through, just like you would with the magic ring, and then stitch. So that's one single stitch. So now I'm going to do the same thing all the way around. I should probably put my bands on the other side because I grab with that hand. I think I grab, I just automatically grab with this hand, not the other hand. So I'll probably move those. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, it is kind of early in the morning, so like there's not a lot of cars. So hopefully there won't be too many background noises. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my row around, and when you get back to the C-clip, I already took it off. Oops, I'll put it back on just so I can show. So once you make a stitch in the, in the stitch that has the C-clip, you're going to take the C-clip off and then put it onto the band that's on your hook, like this. So you just did one row around. So now we have to do five more. And I'm going to do these off camera just because they're um, kind of repetitive and just to save some filming time. So meet me back when you have your five rows done. Okay guys, so I am back and I did my additional three rows off camera on my leg. So it should look something like this. 
And now we're going to tie it off. So you can take your C-clip off. And you just want to go into the next stitch. And pull a band through everything. And slip knot. And you're going to want to skip every other stitch and put a slip knot. So this is the next stitch. I'm not going to do that stitch. I'm going to go into the next stitch. And then I'm going to go into the... I skipped one stitch. I'm going to go into this stitch. And now I'm going to go into this stitch. Sorry about the cat meowing right now. Um, so we just finished the leg. So we have now made both legs and both arms. And now we are going to make the horns. Alright, so now we're going to make the horns. So you're going to want your horn color, which for me is white. And you're going to want to make three of these horns. And I already made two off camera. And I will make one with you guys. And then you're going to go off tutorial and make two more. Alright. So for the horns, we're going to start out with a magic ring of six. And I already showed you guys how to make a magic ring. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker this time. Just to save some filming time. Because I've had issues in the past about if a video is too long, then it will export and... It's like a pain in my butt, and so I have to like lower the resolution so it can be a little bit like pixelated almost, not as like clean and crisp. So I've been trying to um, limit my time on camera as much as I can so that the video is shorter so I don't have that issue because it is a pain in my butt. All right. So I think I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One more. So put your C clip on this band after you have your six stitches. <laughs> so now we're going to do just one row normal around this magic ring or around the six stitches. Sorry about the background noises. I really do apologize. I can't edit them out. Let's just because then I edit like my voice out and I don't want that cuz I'm talking. And a lot of you guys said my last tutorial wasn't boring. Even though I thought it was boring cuz like I tried to talk during it, but I failed very much. I was just talking randomness. But you guys said it was fine, so I will just keep doing that. So, I just finished my one row around and move my C-clip up. And now we are going to do, uh, let me, ah, I'm looking at the pattern cause I don't, it's not my design. So I don't, I don't have it memorized. Okay, so we're gonna do single increase around. So I already showed you guys what an increase is, so just two stitches in one stitch so we're gonna do single and then an increase I'm so sorry about my cat he never meows and he's meowing just because I'm filming how rude and a lot of you guys liked my last video too the looming with my cat I mean I have three so the one meowing is not Nathan um it's Cooper he's just trilling but I think Nathan really enjoyed that video. And he will probably be back on my channel in the future. Maybe even with my other cats. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. He never meows. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my single increase around. Hope you guys did too. I can actually just take my C-clip off now because we are done with the horn. So you're just going to go into the next stitch and tie off and then just like the legs you're going to put a slip knot in every other stitch so skip a stitch and then put a slip knot so then skip a stitch and then put another slip knot huh. 
How many did I do on these? Four, okay. All right, so that is your horn. So go off camera or off tutorial. I will say off camera for you guys, but I really do mean off tutorial. Um, you're gonna wanna go off tutorial and make two more horns so that you have a total of three and come back to me when you are done and we will start making the head. Okay guys, so completely, completely ignore what I said in that last clip. Um, I forgot to show you how to make the tail. So we're gonna make the tail before we start with the head. <laughs> so let's make the tail. So we're gonna start out with a magic ring of six stitches and I already showed you how to make a magic ring. We've made many magic rings so far. So I'm gonna show you, not show you how to make the magic ring up close and stuff. So I'm just gonna do it. And the tail is pretty easy, so no worries. Just some increasing. Ta -da. Oh my goodness. Why won't oh, this work? There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And I need six. So, um, the next row around is just going to be a single crochet row around. So, pretty easy. These bands are bothering me. I had a bunch shut out because I thought we were making the head. But, no, I forgot to show you the tail. So, and also this crown thingy we make after the head is like shaped and stuff so yeah <laughs> so now we're just gonna do a single crochet row around our little magic ring ah. So now, after we are done with our single crochet row around, we're going to be doing a single increase row. Oh, I thought I was at the C clip, I wasn't. Um, but we're going to be doing a single increase row. It's kind of like the horns, but in, we're expanding it more. So let's do single increase around. Single increase. Sometimes the jelly bands can be a little bit annoying, but I like how the end result is. I think this blue tri triceratops is going to look really cute. And these are glow-in-the-dark bands, so I think it'll be even cuter in the dark. And also, the one I used for this one is solar, so they're both, like, special bands. <laughs> So I'm just about finished with my single increase row around and now you're going to do two rows normal around and you should have nine stitches. Sorry, I had to look at that. So I'll just count after this row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you're gonna do two rows normal around the tail and I'll do them with you just because they're quick. <laughs> My C-clip is like all twisted up. If this ever happens to you, then what I recommend is um, just undoing the stitch that it gets um, tangled in and just redoing it. Oh my god, I just, I'm so sorry about all the bands. Like you can't even see what I'm doing because there's just bands move them so you guys can see what I'm doing I think that was better all right so just two rows are normal I'm not marking my rows because I think I can tell when I do two rows 
If you want to plot your rows, you can, but I'm not. All right, so I just finished one row around, and I'm just gonna move my C-clip up, and I'm gonna do one more row. I hope that I'm in frame because I'm not looking through the camera to loom, I'm like looking to like the side of my tripod, and then I'm looming, so I'm not looking at the camera 24 seven, which I should, but I'm not that tall. So, I can't, like, look over it. But. So. Yeah. Alright, you guys. So, I just finished my two single crochet rows around. And, let's see. Now we're gonna do two single crochets in an increase. Excuse me. So you already know what an increase is. Oops. So just go ahead and do that. So single. Ah, these bands. Single, and then an increase. Single, single, and then an increase. Hmm. And then you're going to end with single, single increase. So the last stitch should be an increase. So I just finished that row. So just move my C-clip up. And it should, you should have something that looks kind of like this. And now we are going to do two rows normal around the 12 stitches. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. And I'm going to do them off camera just because I want to save some filming time. And it's 12 stitches around, so it's a little bit more time consuming than the nine. So meet me back when you're done with your two single crochet rows around the 12 stitches. All right, guys. So I finished my two additional rows around the tail. And now we are ready to tie it off. So we'll take the C-clip off. And you're going to go into the next stitch. And just... Oh, and not make a stitch. Make a slip knot. And let me see what I did for this one. Well, for this, I like sewed it on. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it like this and then I'll sew it on to the body. But you are going to want to stuff the tail just a little bit just to give it its shape. So you're not going to need much. Just enough to give it um, shape so it's not all funky. So I think that's enough. So there we go. So now we have the tail done. And now we are actually going to get started with the head now. Okay, so let's get started with the head. So we're going to start out with a magic ring of six stitches and Again, I already showed you what a magic ring is, so I'm going to go quicker. Or as quick as I can go, because I can't go very fast. Oh my gosh. What is this? It's like all stuck together. Ugh. Definitely take 
fast lightly because I'm not fast. But I'm just not explaining what to do because you guys already know what to do. So, yeah. So, I have one, two, three, four, five. Why does this not look great? This does not look great. I think I messed up on my magic ring. Let me uh, see what I did wrong. I should, I should have probably gone off camera, but I'm not. Just have to redo it. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not a pro. I do these tutorials for fun, and I love to loom, so... Yeah. I think I accidentally went into, like, one of the stitches, like, instead of the magic ring. Or the... The cat band. Which is why it looked all funky like that. So don't do that. Because <clears throat> then you have to restart. But it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I will fix my bands after not the magic ring. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. One more. And now, when you're finished with your magic ring, you're going to want to put the C-clip on. And I am going to do... Wait, why did I say I am? We are going to do an increase around. So you're going to do an increase in every single stitch. But first, I'm going to fix my bands. I don't think I need this much. Like, on camera. Just a little pile. So it's not, like, excessive. Okay. That's better. So you're just going to want to do an increase in every single stitch. And you will end up with 12 stitches. So, as I was saying earlier, um, I'm going to be trying to film on the weekends, at least. So, like, weekly posts. Um... Because also soccer has started for me. So I have soccer practice every single day, 3 to 5, except the weekends. And then school starts soon. I'm going to start having games and more practices. And it's just super busy. So I think the next thing I'm going to do on my channel is the blindfolded looming challenge. Like Ginger Cell. She did it on her channel too. And I think it looks really fun. So I think I'm going to try it. All right, so I just finished my increase around. And so now we're gonna have 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And now we're going to just do a single crochet row around. So just one in each stitch. I'm trying to make this in camera frame. And after this row, you should still have 12 stitches because we didn't do any increasing or decreasing. I don't know what to say, that's why I'm not talking. <laughs> Alright, so I finished my single crochet row around. And you should have 12 stitches. I'm not going to count because I know I have 12. Um, and this next row is a single and an increase. So let's do that. I still sound crusty and I've been filming for like an hour. I don't know why. Probably just because it's the morning. 
I was planning on getting up at 6.45 in the morning to film, but I slept through my alarm, so that didn't happen. I woke up at like, or like around 7, and then I just lounged because I didn't feel like getting up. <laughs> And I just want to say thank you to Zimmy for letting me film this tutorial for you. I'm very honored <laughs> that you let me because I'm just very... I love this design so much. It's so cute. Yeah. And you're one of my favorite loomers. So it's also like amazing. <laughs> so yeah. Go follow her Instagram at Zimmy Looms. At, it's Zimmy underscore looms. And her YouTube, I'm pretty sure it's just Simi Looms. So I will make sure to put those in the link down in in the description. The links in the description box down below. I am all word twisted this morning. Probably because it's the morning. Huh. A single increase. And then your last should be an increase. Sorry about that. My my phone is low, so I think I'm just gonna go grab my charger real quick so that it doesn't die while I'm filming. Alright guys, I am back and I have a charger so my phone won't die while I'm filming. So, what is this band doing? Get back there. And, so my next, our next row is going to be two single crochets and then an increase. So, let's do that. I'm trying to think of what I can talk about today that's not boring. <laughs> my cat just woke up again and he's meowing again. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm not centered at all. Let me fix that. I love this color for the Triceratops. I think it's going to be really cute. I think they'll both look cute in the thumbnail because. I'll have to take a photo for the thumbnail later because I want them both to be in it, but I can't sh do it right now because the Triceratops is not done. <sighs> I don't know what to talk about. I'm so sorry. Awkward silence. <laughs> and I can talk about my YouTube channel, I guess. Well, thank you guys so much for all the views on my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. And I think I have like 54 subscribers, which I know like to anybody, it's like, oh, that's not a lot. But to me, that is a lot. Like, I only started my channel like less than three weeks ago. So it really does mean a lot to me, guys. So thank you. <laughs> I have a problem with flicking bands everywhere. On my live, when I was making my other Triceratops, I swear I flung like five bands. All right, so we're almost done with this. And then it does get a little bit repetitive, but I'm going to do that repetitiveness off camera just because I need to fil save some filming time because I've already filmed a bunch and I don't want this video to be super super long and it's easy stuff so you don't need my help with that <laughs> so after you finish your single single increase row around you should have 24 stitches so i'm not going to count because i do know i have 24 stitches but you can count if you like so now we are going to do 
four rows of normal single crochet. So I'm going to do these off camera, like I said, just to film some, save some filming time. So yeah, meet me back when you're done with your four rows normal around your 24 stitches. Alright guys, I am back and I did my four rows normal around the head and it should be looking something like this. So now we are going to start decreasing. So this row we are going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. And if you don't know what a decrease is, watch me closely and if you already do, then you can just go ahead. So we're going to do two singles, so one and two and then we're gonna do a decrease which is basically combining two stitches to make one so we're gonna take the front loop of the first stitch and the back loop of the next stitch and then pull a band through and make a normal stitch and that is a decrease so let's do that again so single single and a decrease so the front half of the first loop and the back half of the next loop and make a stitch so you're going to do that all the way around I'm totally not in frame, sorry. And the head and the body come as one. So um, we just decrease the head and then we ex increase it again to make the, the body. So two singles. Decrease. And now um, my bands are going everywhere and it's really annoying me. So single, single. decrease and your last two stitches should be a decrease so do two singles and then a decrease on the bank with the C clip and now you should have 18 stitches so you can count around, I'm not going to, just because I'm kind of lazy. But now our next row is going to be single decrease. So let's do that. Single and then a decrease. Single. What in the world? My stitches just came undone. Lovely. Let's fix that. There we go. I'm trying to film all of this tutorial in one sitting, but I'm really tired and. I have stuff to do today, too, so, and my lazy self didn't want to get up this morning, so, that's what I'm filming now. <clears throat> As this tutorial goes on, I'm trying to clear up my voice, because it is very crusty, but I just did my decrease, so now I'm going to do single. and then after this row you should have 12 stitches 
and then we're going to start increasing again for the body. And then um, we will start adding the feet. Actually, before we start increasing for the body, we're going to add all the facial facial features. So finish that last stitch and move your C-clip up. And now we're going to just uh, temporarily fasten this off. So I'm just going to take um, a white band and just completely fail to do that. Um, just take a white band and go through the next stitch and pull through everything and just tie a loose or sleep knot, something I can take out later. So this is the head. It does look a little bit funky and I'm just going to stuff it temporarily. I'm going to take the stuffing out just so I can, um, get placement right for the eyes. So then it, it has like its real shape while I do this. Alright, so that looks about right. So let me get my eyes. And if you are doing um, beads, um, then you just string on a band to the bead and then tie it onto the head. If you're doing a band, wrap a band. If you're using bands as the eyes, take a black band, wrap it around your hook. Um, three times creating four loops, then pull another band, and then slip knot that on. So I'm going to just place my eyes. Let me see how I did it on this one. Like two rows up. So maybe like here maybe. And the eyes is like a trial and error. It's wherever you think that it looks right. I don't really have a exact spot I put them. I think I'm gonna put them a little bit higher. Okay guys, I am so, so sorry about that weird cut. And I'm sorry that this is now all different. I had to change my filming setup and I'm now filming on my iPad because for some reason my stupid phone ran out of storage, so we're doing it on here now, so hopefully it doesn't run out of storage. So I'll try to go a little bit quicker, but still enough that you guys can do it. <laughs> so I have my eyes placed here, and I think that's where I want them. Because I'm just like testing out my horns. I think that would look cute. So I think I like my eyes like this, so I'm just going to take my stuffing out. Oh my god, my eye fell out. Take this stuff out so I can get the backings. It's so weird filling on my iPad. Because mm. usually I edit them on my iPad and then upload them from there. But, alright. So, now we're going to attach the horns. Which may be a little bit difficult because of the angle that I'm, well, I'm filming. I have my backboard and then this is where I was filming. But, okay. So now we're going to attach the horns. So we're just going to take one of our horns for the front. And just going to go somewhere on the front of the face and pull in the first slip knot. And you're basically just going to pull all the slip knots through the front of the face. But once you have, um, oh my goodness, two, you're gonna take them on your fingers and you're going to just tie them in like, like kind of like a shoelace. And then you're gonna go back in. Or if you have your own way of attaching, you can do that too. This is just the way that I like attaching them. And pull that. I'm so sorry for these angles. I 
I'm not used to filming my iPad. I'll try to, ex I'll put the pattern for the body in the video so that, um, yeah. And I'll probably put the pattern in the description. Alright, so now we have our front horn, and I actually think I'm going to move this eye closer, because that's how I have it on my other one. So let's take the backing off. I think that's cuter, in my opinion. You can do whatever you want. All right, so now we have something that looks like this. Yes, it is a little bit funky shaped right now, but it will fix, I promise. Now we're going to attach the horns that are on the top. So you basically just go wherever you feel like it would look right. I don't really have an exact placement. So I'm just gonna kind of do this the best I can in frame. Because again, I'm filming on my iPad, and because my phone doesn't have a lot of storage, it's really, 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 really frustrating. Because I just want to put out content for you guys. And my phone's like, nope, you don't have enough storage to film a video. Or the rest of the video. Like, I film like so many clips, and then it just stopped. Ugh. So I'm just tying my horns in. That one's actually like perfect. I like how that is. Now we're going to do the other one. And like I said, you can put them wherever you want. I don't have an exact place, just kind of on top of the head. And next I'm going to do, I'll show you guys how to do the little crown thingy on his head. So yeah. Hmm, what is going on here? Oh, it's the knots back here. I don't think this, this one was going to be right. I'm probably going to have to move it. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit far back. Yeah, it's too far back. Uh, I think I'm going to just go off camera to attach this. Because... I can't do it on camera for some reason. It's just not working out. So I'll be back when I'm finished attaching this horn. All right, guys, I just finished attaching my other horn. Yes, it's not perfect, but I'm pretty frustrated right now. So I'm not going to mess with it too much. And now we are going to want to stuff it. Stuff your head. Like that. So, got that. Okay. So now we're going to do the little crown thing on its head. So, for that, you're going to want to do, first, you're going to want to do sing a single crochet across the top of the head. I will try to show you as best as I can. I know the iPad camera is not the cleanest. But just somewhere close on the back of the head to the horns. I'm doing right about here. And you're just going to want to do single crochets just across the top of the head, I guess. That's what I can say. Like I said, I'm trying to show this as best as I can on the iPad. I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm definitely going to put the pattern in the description because I have it how Zimmy sent it to me. So, yeah. Mm 
I'm just doing single crochets across the top, just in a line. And you're gonna wanna stop about halfway through the side of the head. So, yeah. So I'm gonna do my last stitch about here. So you should have, it should look kind of like this. And now you're gonna to wanna to do two rows just going across the top of the head. So just go into each one of these stitches and go across and do two rows just back and forth and come back to me when you're done. Okay guys, so I thought I'd just come back on to do this, the second row with you just so that I can show you how to do the stitches because if you want them facing the same way, you have to do the stitch kind of differently. So what you're gonna do, oh my gosh, it's kind of far back. It's okay. So what you're gonna do is once you get here, you're gonna go in the back of the stitch so that the stitches are facing the same way. It is a little bit harder to, to do the stitches, but, oh, sorry. It's a lot harder to do them on camera, but I'll just show you and then I'll just go back off to do it. So you're gonna go in through the back of the stitch and then do the, what you would normally do. So just go through the back of the stitch. Like that. Oh, I didn't. oh, there we go. So that's how you do the second row across. So I'll let you guys finish that and come back to me when you're done. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back and I have a new phone that I'm filming on. So thank you so much to my mom for letting me film on her phone. She has a lot more storage than I do. I was very, very frustrated, so I'm sorry about the eye patch shots. I hope you understood them. But now I'm just finishing up this thing, and I did put mine a little bit too far back, so I am going to do one extra row across just to make it a little bit taller so you can see it. So if you have that same issue, you can do that too. But yeah, I'm really, really sorry about all the eye patch shots. I was really frazzled in all of them because I was really frustrated with all my storage issues and stuff. But now it will be okay because my mom has a lot of storage on her phone. So I won't run out. Okay, so I'm just doing one more row across this. This video is probably gonna be super long, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's okay. So usually you'd only do two rows if you did it like closer to the horns, but I'm doing three just because I want it to be visible. Okay, so, oh, one more little stitch, can't miss that. And also her phone is better quality, so hopefully you can see anything, everything a little bit better. So I think that looks a lot better. So now we are going to do the part that kind of makes it at the top. So what it is, is you have to do, oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't have the pattern right next to me. Oh, okay. So you're gonna do one single crochet Oh, it's fine if the stitches aren't facing this way for me. I don't really care. And now you're going to go into the next stitch and pull a band through everything and pull over. Don't tie this tight and go into the same stitch and do that again. So pull through everything and reclaim. And then you're going to go into the next stitch and just do a normal single crochet. So you're gonna wanna repeat that pattern all the way across. So now we're gonna do an, I'm gonna call it an increase in slip stitches. So 
go into the next stitch, pull it through everything, and like that, and then increase. I guess it's kind of increasing. And now I do a single. But I, I know I keep saying, but I really do want to apologize for all the rushedness in this video. That's not a word, but I'm using it anyway. I was very, very upset with all the storage stuff. But yeah, I think the video should be out today or tomorrow. Today is Saturday, so it might be out Sunday or Saturday night. I'm not sure. But all we have left to do is the body, which is pretty repetitive, so I won't have to be on camera for all of that, thank God. My arms are so sore. And we're on the last stitch, which is kind of tiny, but it is one of the increased slip stitch ones. So we'll do that. And for the last slip stitch, I'm actually going to pull it tight. So this is what my little crown looks like. Like that. And so now I'm just gonna tuck this tail in back here. All right. So we have just finished the head. Yay! So now we can move on to the body. I'm just going to stop my video here so I can pick up all my mess and get prepared to start the body. Okay guys, so I am back and I have all my stuff set up to start the body. So we're gonna take off the temporary tie off band. Okay, and put your hook back in. And now we are going to do, oops, single increase. So basically undoing what we just did with the head. So do our single and increase because we're increasing it so that we can create the body. One of my bands just flew away. Single increase. And after this row, we will have 18 stitches. Where am I on? Okay, increase. Oops. Single. And then an increase. And do single. Increase. Almost done with this row. The last stitch should be an increase. So, single. Next one. Increase. Okay, so now you should have 18 stitches. I'm not going to count because I'm lazy. But you should have 18 stitches. It's looking pretty cute so far. So let me just check my pattern. So now we're going to do two rounds of single crochet. So I'm going to do these off camera just to save filming time so that this tutorial is not like more than like an hour and a half long. 
which I don't want. So just do two rows of single crochet around your 18 stitches and come back to me when you're done. All right, guys, I am back and I did my two rows normal and it should be looking something like this. I think it's super cute. And now we are going to do eight single crochets and then an increase and we'll repeat that two times. So I'm just gonna lay out eight bands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so I'm gonna do my eight single crochets. And then we're going to do an increase when we're done with that. And then we'll do another eight single crochets and then an increase. And at the end of this, you will have 20 stitches. Mm, sorry. I'm going to count one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, that's not a stitch that I need to count. So one more. So now we're gonna do an increase. Again guys, I'm very sorry for all the weird angles and different cameras in this video. I'm just trying to get this tutorial out for you guys. Editing should be fun. So then I'm not counting the eight stitches because I know that the last stitch is going to be where I want to do my increase with this, the one with the C-clip on it. After this, it does get a bit repetitive but it's the body, so. And now I've reached my last stitch and I'm going to do an increase in the one with the C-clip. And move my C-clip up. And now you should have 20 stitches. I'm not going to count because I'm lazy again. And I'm pretty sure I have the right amount. So now you are going to do six rows of single crochet normal. So I'm not going to do these on camera just to save filming time. So this tutorial isn't super long because we are doing here. Let me zoom out this part, and then we'll start decreasing to make its little button, <laughs> and then it will sit and then we'll attach the arms and the legs and the tail and then we'll be done. So go do your six rows. So let me just plot those for myself. You should plot them too. So I have my six rows here and I'm going to do my six rows normal around my 20 stitches and meet me back when you are done. Alrighty, you guys, so I just finished my six rows normal around my little Triceratops body. I hope you did too. It is looking so cute. So now we are going to attach the arms, the legs, and the tail. I'm going to try to show as best as I can. Also, a cat just came up onto the table I'm filming on. So if they come in frame, I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to temporarily tie off the body. So I'm just going to take a white band and pull it through everything and slip knot. So, oh my goodness. All right, you guys. So I just finished my six rows normal. It's looking so cute. And I also fastened it off because it is time to attach the tail, the arms, and the legs. I'm going to try to show this as best as I can, just because the angle on that is a little bit tricky. 
but we're gonna do our best. All right, so I'm going to attach the arms first. So let me just get my other stuff, um, just put it over there. So I'm going to attach them close to the neck part. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in, is I'm gonna take one stitch, so make sure you have one, two, three stitches available, I guess, that's what I could say. And you're gonna pull through one of the slip knots. And if you have your own way of attaching, that is totally fine, but this is just how I attach. And go into the next stitch, pull it through. It's basically sewing. Go to the next stitch and pull the last slip knot through. And then I'm just gonna go into the end of the arm and just go into a stitch on the body. And then I'm gonna take one of my body color bands and pull it through everything. Try not to snag anything at. <laughs> Like I just did, I just snagged something else and it was too much. Okay, so pull it through, try not to snag anything, and tie, like that. And then you can just tuck this tail in, or you can tuck it in once you have it stuffed because that's a little bit easier, which is probably what I'm gonna do. So there's my one arm. So now I'm gonna attach my other arm in the exact same way, just on the other side, with my sewing technique. I'm probably gonna tie the arms together like I did on the other one as well, or just like tie them in place somewhere. So yeah. All right. So now I'm just going to go into the end of my arm, find a stitch. I'm trying to show this as much as I can, I'm sorry guys. But I'm sure you guys know how to attach stuff like this if you've made Lumigurumi before. So here are my arms, they're so cute, I love it. Also sorry for this over here, my backboard wasn't big enough, this is a canvas. Don't judge me, I didn't have anything bigger. Okay, so now we are going to attach the leggies. I don't know why I said that like that. But for the legs, it's a little bit of a different technique. It's kind of like how I did the horns, but you couldn't really see what I did with the horns. Also, I just started doing it. Um, so you're gonna pull slip knots through the body, and then I tie them like I did with the horns. But like I said, if you have your own way of attaching, that is totally fine. You can do that too. As long as you get the legs on the body, you'll be fine. It's kind of hard to show. But I'm just pulling the slip knots in through the body and then taking them and then tying them in a knot. Pulling nice and tight. Not too, too tight, but tight enough that it stays. Just like that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. What the heck am I doing? This is the tail, not the leg. <gasps> okay, pull that through. And I only tie two at a time, so I have four slip knots, so I just do two different sets of tying off. If that makes sense. All right, pull one through. I know I'm not zoomed in on this, but I'm sorry. Where's my other slip knot? I don't know, so I'm just gonna pull it through <laughs> that. But I'm sure you guys got this in the bag. Cause I'm sure you've done this before. All right, so I have my other leg attached. And I have it like this, cause I want him to be able to sit like this. But if you want it in a different position, that is totally fine too. And now it is time to attach 
the tail. So what I do is a sewing technique, kind of like the arms, but different. Kind of like the legs, but different. But if you have your own way of attaching, like I said, you can do that too. So I'm just going to take a stitch that's in the body. And then the slip knot from the tail and pull it through. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to go to another stitch on the body and then take a st one stitch from the tail and then pull a band through and do a stitch. And I'm going to do that same thing, go through a stitch, oh, get both the loops, go through a stitch on the body and then on the tail and pull it through and make a normal stitch and you're just going to do that all the way around at least for the way that I'm attaching it. I just find it it gives it the most stable kind of look like it's not floppy because you don't want a floppy tail unless you do want a floppy tail but I don't want a floppy tail so I'm making it nice and secure and I've reached um, my last stitches, so I'm just going to go through and pull a band through, oh, a broken band. Pull a non-broken band through all the loops on my hook, and then slip knot. So, now we've attached the tail. So, now I'm going to stuff it, and then I'll hide all the slip, the slip knots. So I got my stuffing here. You don't want to overstuff it so that you can see the stuff, the stuffing through the stitches. Like that is overstuffing. Don't do that. So I'm take a little bit out. Just enough to give it shape. It's okay if you can see a little bit of the stuffing through the stitches, just not like bulging through the stitches like that. I think that's good. A little bit of chubby triceratops. <laughs> so now I am going to hide my tails. Let's get those tails in there. All right. Hide this one. The legs don't have any tails though because I tied them off on the inside. So yeah. that in all right so now this is what you should have it's almost done it is so cute i love it i made mine a little bit extra chubby but i think it's cute so now you're gonna take off your temporary fastening off band and now we're going to do eight single crochets and a decrease so let's do that and get some of my body color band. Surprised that I'm not really close to running. Oh, I, I'm low, but I didn't, wasn't sure I was gonna have enough, but I will. So I'm just gonna count while I do this. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, ah. Ah. six, <laughs> seven, zoom in, and eight. So this is my last stitch before my decrease. And I already showed you guys how to do a decrease, so just front front loop of the first stitch, back loop of the next stitch. And now we're gonna do single crochets into the last two stitches, and you're gonna do a decrease on those. And we are almost done, then we are going to just be decreasing to close up the bottom 
And then we will be done with our little triceratops. I have a few more stitches until my decrease. Oh my gosh, I am like the best at flicking bands when looming. I swear. And taking my hook out. It is now almost 11 o'clock and I've been filming since like eight because of all my technical difficulties. <sighs> but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, I just did my last decrease. So now you should have 18 stitches. I'm not gonna count because I'm lazy, hmm. but I'm pretty sure I have 18. So now we're going to do a single and a decrease. So do that all the way around. And then after this, we are going to be doing a decrease around and then we will just be closing it off and then your triceratops will be done. And then I can finally go shoot my, fun my thumbnail. It is a little bit cloudy outside, but I think it'll be fine because I always want to shoot my thumbnails like in the grass, so. Okay. Oh, I just did two decreases in a row. Oops. Just undo that, do a single. Then a decrease. And my voice still sounds crappy. And it's 11, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay. And then a single and a decrease. So now you should have 12 stitches. I will count this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And now you're just going to do a decrease around. And then we'll just do, and then we'll just fasten it off. Or I'm gonna show you guys how I like to close up my my creations after I decrease around, because usually there's like six six or five stitches left, or depending on how much was in your magic ring. So I'll just show you guys how I do that. So now I can just take my C clip off, and I'm going to do my closing off technique. Take one band and slip knot it on to the band that was on your hook. And then I'm just gonna go around through the tops of all the stitches that are left and just like string this band through. And it just gives it a neater closing up look. And you only have to do it like three to four times for it to look good. This is after three times and I think it looks fine. So I'm just going to hide my slip knot. And there we go. So that is it for this tutorial. So here's my little Triceratops friend. Actually, <laughs> I'm just gonna um, tie his arms together. I'll probably do that off camera, but if you want to do that, you can, like this guy. So these are my little triceratops. I think they're so cute together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
And don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Saturn.looms and tag at Zimmy underscore looms on Instagram if you make one and post it. We would love to see it. And I hope you had I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye, guys.